We're going to have a look at the free film set asset provided with the Unreal Primer course. Once you've unzipped the files, you should find something that looks like this. Now to open an Unreal Engine 5 project, you find this .u project at the top level and double click it. Now this will start the process of opening the engine and then opening the project. You'll notice if you're doing this for the first time, it will take quite a while to open up and then compile the shaders before you see everything as it appears on my screen. Once we're in, we can use our navigation that we learned in the previous lessons to move around the scene. So what's special about this environment is I've taken away one of the walls and put it on what looks like a sound stage to kind of emulate real world production on a set environment. Now the reason we've done this is so that learning basic concepts in Unreal is as straightforward and intuitive as possible. Now, if you notice here, we have a crane with a camera on it. If we select either the crane or the camera, we get this preview window here. And this is what our camera sees. If you click away though, that preview window goes away. So what you can do is you click on the camera and then down the bottom left of the window here, you can click pin preview. With that pinned, we can now click away and we can start to modify our scene while still looking through the camera lens. Something else to note about this scene is these film lights. Now we've created a basic blueprint with exposed parameters. So if you look over on the right, you'll see this details panel. Now we're not going to go into this too in depth at the moment, um, but just know that these, where it says default up the top here is a list of parameters I've gone in and exposed to change attributes about this object. So the first one we have is light intensity. So we can turn this up or down to control the light amount in our scene. The next is barn door angle. So we can similarly turn this up or down to widen or choke the light coming off of this. Next is height, which just simply moves the source of the light up or down. Then we have the light width and light height. Now this just widens or shrinks the size of the light. Now if you notice, you should see this in the reflections and the shadows particularly. So at the moment here we can see her shadow is quite soft because the light source is quite large. But if I shrink this down, let's say a width of 0.1 and let's put in a height of 0.12. You see how hard her shadow gets. The last one is light tilt, and this just simply changes the rotation of the light. So a few of those are placed around the scene, as you can see, as well as a practical light just here. So this is the exact kind of environment we're going to be working in in the Introduction to Filmmaking course, where we go over all the fundamentals you need to create animated content in Unreal Engine 5. I hope to see you there.